what's going on Taurus it is Scorpion Reds back at it again to let you know what is going on for the month of April shout out to all of my new subscribers thank you guys so much for liking sharing and subscribing and supporting my page hello 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 to everyone all right if you would like to get a personal or private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab there is a hyperlink at the bottom of the page it says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again it says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me okay if this video resonates and if you would like to give a love donation to the page you can do so by clicking the uh, paypal um, link in the description um Let's get into the reading, you guys. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. Thank you so much for everything that we've been learning throughout this process and this growth and this transformation that we've been going through. Thank you so much for keeping our head held high and just steadfast and just determined to just win in 2019. 2019 is our year, Father God. Thank you so much for just wrapping your arms around us and just encouraging us and just walking with us every step of the way. Thank you again for all of the blessings and lessons in the past present and future father can you please give us guidance for the sign of taurus for april 2019 thank you again for all of the messages and the blessings in the past present and future please give us guidance for the sign of taurus for april 2019 all righty you guys excuse my kids in the background because they is having a okay Hold on real quick. So this says perfectionism. Permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me of the imprisonment of perfectionism. So right now, Taurus, we're just, you know, Having to go through a process of forgiving ourselves for certain mistakes and just not being as hard on ourselves to just, you know, not have so many bumps in the roads. Bumps in the roads are inevitable. It's no way that you, I mean, no one can control the design of the road. You know, you just got to go through them and you just got to figure out how to drive over them potholes without fucking up your car. You know what I'm saying? So, no situation, no path, no journey is perfect. None of them are perfect. And a lot of the mistakes that we go through in life is to teach us a lot of lessons. So, you know, don't strive to be perfect. Strive to be smart. Strive to be wise. Strive to be someone that I know how to navigate and get over these bumps in the roads <clears throat> flawlessly and even if I do go through bumps in the road, I make it look good. You know what I'm saying? I might not be perfect, but I'm damn sure worth it. You see what I'm saying? I might not be perfect, but I'm damn sure worth it. So that is what this reading is going to be about. Perfectionism. The permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change allow me divine to make as many mistakes as i need free me from the prison of perfectionism all right so let's get into the gentle energy all right. let's 
giving guidance for the sign of Taurus. It's that butterfly. Um, just, you know, you guys are really, like I said, in 2018, a lot of us were going through the cocoon stages, you know, where we were having to separ separate ourselves from the world and wrap ourselves in that silk. Um, and the silk. And we birthed ourselves, and now you're re emerging as this butterfly. And it's like, okay, I went through so much bumping my head and mistakes in that, you know caterpillar stage before I went in there and you know I became that cocoon so now that I'm that butterfly it's just I don't want to mess my wings up I don't want to you know what I'm saying it's just you just want to be so perfect and, and you still can't nobody is perfect I'm the queen of fire I refer in reverse and not in the Florida. All right, so this is what I'm getting towards. Right now, you guys are in this queen of queen of wands, this queen of fire energy. You guys are very action-oriented right now. You know, it's about the action. It's about the doing. It's about making movements. And that's why you're in this, like, perfectionist zone right now. Because it's just like, every you want your next move to be your best move. You ain't about taking no L's. You ain't about making no mistakes, you know? You are like whipping ass and you were taking names later and you look fucking good doing it. You know what I'm saying? I honestly want to say like right now um, for a lot of my tourist females, just like this fire that you got going on in you, like it's fucking sexy. And I want to say that there's a lot of admirers looking at you and they really love what they see. Just this new vitality, this new just drive in you. It's amazing, and um, you guys are real determined, and you guys are really, 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 like, y'all are trying to take over. However, at the same time, it's like you guys have been trying to do things on your own. You guys didn't want to, you guys, well, hold on, because my kids are going to make me feel them. Hold on, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. It sound like them children's about to come through the walls. <laughs> Ooh, father, help me, child. Okay, anyway, excuse me, guys. All right, so, like I said, you guys are driven. You guys have been doing things your own way. But at the same time, you guys have been doing things your own way because I feel like you guys went through a divorce. You guys have separated yourself from whatever has been confining you, you know? Something was confining you and, you know, having to be in a relationship. Like I said, you guys might have been married or something or um, you guys were in like a group setting or, you know, where everyone had this structured way of thinking and this way of being. And you like that shit didn't resonate with me no more. I, you know, I didn't feel happy. You know, I didn't feel happy doing the things that y'all wanted me to do. It. You know what I'm saying? I had to go my own way. But at the same time, I feel like even you guys going your own way, I still feel like it has you in this place where you're still unhappy. You guys are still unhappy for some reason. Because I honestly feel like the situation that you you guys got out of, it was like an untraditional situation or something and you 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 were taking your own approach doing that you know and it got you to a point where you were unhappy because you felt like you didn't you weren't making a very good judgment call 
trying to take this own approach, doing things your own way. And right now you're just like, you're fiery, you're determined. And I want to say that I don't see you guys going back to that structured way of thinking because I do feel like you're more successful on your own. I just feel like what Taurus is fighting for right now is driving forward, moving forward, being very passionate, being very creative at this moment. And you are going your own way. You're not going back to the way society thinks that you should go, you know? And I feel like that's the thing that had Taurus so fucked up because they were trying to be this perfectionist and do things the way society wanted them to do it, but it didn't lead them to happiness. And I feel like even right now with them doing things on their own, it's still not leading them to happiness because it's something about it's a for some reason even though Taurus is doing things on their own and they're by themselves they're still not happy I feel like they're not they're not happy because I feel like they don't they haven't seen someone I feel like I feel like y'all are not happy because whoever it was that y'all ended up divorcing or something, whatever it was that just made you feel like, you know what, fuck it, I don't even want to subscribe to this way of being anymore. I feel like it brought you so much unhappiness and that you weren't necessarily using your judgment in the situation. And I also feel like you don't feel that the person that did this to you received their karma. Like you don't. That they didn't get their judgment. You know what I'm saying? They didn't get a fair judgment to you. You know? And you feel like it's better being... you better off just being by yourself. You're better off being by yourself. But you're not happy because you feel like this person didn't... You, you did everything that you could to be perfect for this person. You did everything that you could. And at the end of the day, it still led you to unhappiness. And even though you had to leave it, you feel better off on your own. You're just like, why is this person not getting what they deserve? You know, like, they, like this person deserves, you know what I'm saying, to get their ass whooped. Or this person deserves to go to jail. Or this person deserves, yeah, like, I, I, like I kind of feel like that. Like, y'all feel like this person kind of... <laughs> yeah let's get into this I'm about to use the um the Odyssey of Wonderland deck I'm just being guided to use this deck to clarify this please clarify this spread for Taurus why is Taurus unhappy about this ending, about this divorce, like in their own way. I mean, no one's going to be happy about having a divorce and leave a situation where they dedicated themselves to this way of being, this way. You know what I'm saying? Like that higher fit, like you dedicated yourself to this teaching and this belief system, and this, you know, for only for you to turn around and leave and feel like you were unhappy. And it was a bad judgment on your part to even get mixed up with this person because you were on your own. But at the same time, it's just like, I feel like Taurus wants to see this person get what they deserve. Yeah, three swords. This person broke your heart. This person, it was a divorce. This person cheated and this person betrayed you. And there was someone else that was involved in this union that ain't have no business being there. And I feel like Taurus just, just feels like I, you allowed someone else to come in and get a piece of the pie that did not have anything to fuck to do with them. They shouldn't even have been around it. 
it like really broke towards his heart. And this is showing that their heart is still broken about this situation. This Knight of Pentacles. Look at this fool. Look at this old goofy ass fool. This Knight of Pentacles, I feel like. <laughs> Taurus really like feels like I sacrificed my life. Like I dedicated. Like Taurus dedicated their life to this way of being, to this, to the structure, to this way of being. To to stay sacrificed for this fool. For this fucking goofy ass fucking fool that just turned around and broke their fucking heart. And it's like, you fucking big dorky, big fat turkey neck, big giblet fucking head ass looking bitch ass nigga. Like, <laughs> you had the audacity. Because I want to say, like, whoever this was that Taurus was married to and that was in this long committed relationship with, this person took... I feel like y'all, y'all, you guys were together a long time before this person even really acknowledged the relationship for you guys to get married. You know what I'm saying? And then to go through all of that for you still to not offer me nothing. You still couldn't offer me a solid fucking commitment. You still couldn't. Like after all of everything I went through, you big fucking dork. Like I feel like this person, look at this motherfucker. Your big sloppy fat ass horse, your big fat neck. Your big ugly ass fucking hat. Ugh. Like, and I feel like that's how Taurus, <laughs> like now that Taurus is divorced from this person, I don't know if this person just kind of let their self go or something like that, but that's how Taurus looks at this person like, I can't believe I let this fuck motherfucker break my heart. You big goofy ass. Fuck boy ass. Look, look at this person. What? And all the Taurus, man. They let someone break their heart. They let someone break their heart. That be cheating on them with dudes that look like this. And you like, I know good and damn well. You cheating on me with somebody who ain't offering you nothing for real? Like, yeah, they made it seem like they was coming behind you about it. Like, I, you had everything. You had the marriage. You had everything. <laughs> Boy, yeah. The high priestess. Yes, this person feels like that this woman that they were dealing with was sneaky. You were hiding secrets. That you were... Taurus feels like this person. You misled me. You made me think. You made me believe that you were offering me. That you were coming and offering me something. Because yeah, yes indeed. You were coming and you were offering me something. But at the same time, like you were holding secrets. You were showing me one person. But deep inside you were someone else. You were someone that would cheat and break my heart. And you never truly, it's just the six of pentacles. You never truly gave to me without making me feel some type of way about it. Like this person, even though like they came forward to you, like they were offering you something like they were, oh yeah. <laughs> this person, this person gave to you. And was coming to you and was showing you movements, even though they were slow, slow movements. They try to seem like they were offering you something solid. But all in all, this person was hiding who they truly were. You know? This person was hiding who they truly were. They were showing you one person, but when they looked in the mirror, you could really see who they were. Like that kind of vampire type of thing. It's like in the flesh, they look like a human, but when they stand in front of a mirror, they don't have no soul. You know what I'm saying? So they don't have a reflection. So with that mirror, it shows you who their true reflection is, who they truly are. And this person was a high priestess, you know, very mystical, very manipulative, you know, knows a whole lot and very calculated and 
will show you what you want to see and whatever it is that you want to believe. You know what I'm saying? That's what their thing is. They reflect to you what they feel like your innermost desire is. You know? So, to you, your innermost desire was this offer of this commitment, which was this marriage. And yeah, they gave it to you. You know? But did they really give it to you? Did they really give it to you? Or did they give you something that made you feel like you were a burden to them to take care of like you know you ever had somebody like give something to you but then sit there complain about the fact that they had to give it to you yeah did that that that's who you were dealing with and so right now Taurus is still heartbroken because it's like hindsight is 2020 I <laughs> I allowed a Punk ass motherfucker like this to break my heart. You big dorky, dumb looking fucking head ass nigga. You understand what I'm saying? You don't even look at this person the same. This person's not even attracted to you no more. And like I said, if this is a Taurus man, this high priestess was cheating on you with these little stupid ass dudes like this. That like was literally cheating with any dorky, goofy ass looking person that they could cheat with that I offered them a coin. Who really wasn't offering them nothing in the beginning anyway. Nothing. And you felt, after a while, you felt it was a burden to have to take care of them. To have to give to this person that wasn't really showing you who they truly was. And at the end of the day, this person ended up shutting you out in the cold. Everything that they seemed like they was offering to you. They took it back and they, and they closed the door on you. And they left you out. And or carried you off, you know. I do feel like, why do I feel like some of somebody going to jail, yeah? I feel like somebody going to jail. I feel like somebody might be hauled off to jail, yeah? Because it's like... I really do feel like, I feel like Because this Taurus is moving on. And you see her face. Her face. I want you to look at her face. So I want you to know that this Taurus got something cooking for somebody. Like I really, deep in my heart, I want to say Taurus got something fucking cooking for somebody. Because y'all fucked around and y'all broke Taurus' heart over some bullshit. Over some bullshit. And at the end of the day, Taurus changed their life or they gave they gave their life to someone that gave them unhappiness they gave them unhappiness and this person tricked them i felt like this person i want to say that this person tricked them with money they made them seem like they was offering them something and it was had a mask on had a mask on and i want to say like whereas though they felt like they were given, they were really taken from them. And I feel like maybe Taurus found out this, like, after the breakup or something like that. I want to say, like, I want to kind of say I feel like someone stole y'all money or something like that. Because you did, like, do you see this person, like, the person that they were presenting to you wasn't who they really was. All of this is money. Money, 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 money. And then the six of coins in reverse, this is someone regretting having to take care of someone. Feeling like someone took advantage of them. And then you see someone being locked out, locked up, carted off to jail. And the six went to the five, so that meant someone took something. This motherfucker took something. I really do feel like someone took something, you yeah. I feel like someone took something. And not only did they break this person's heart with a third party, they took something from this person. And that's why Taurus is just like, 
I was better left. I was better off on my own with my money by myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm really getting that energy real big. Y'all tell me if this is resonating, y'all. But I feel like somebody felt like they could trust that 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 y'all could trust this person and this person not only broke y'all heart but they stole money from y'all. Like after like maybe after the the breakup or something like y'all broke up or something y'all got divorced and like this person got off with money or something like that. And that's why y'all emotionally unhappy. Because y'all feel like this person didn't get the judgment. This person didn't get what they deserve. And it's just like regardless of what you're going to see to it that this person go to jail for. It, for what this person did. This person took from you. And you're going to see to it that this person go to jail. Ooh, okay. Let me just keep it moving. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I'm so sorry. Like, uh, I'm sorry about that, young. I just, like, I just, because I'm just like, why? Why is this, like, and it's just like, I felt like I can't, I couldn't be perfect. Like, it was no way. I feel like now Taurus is looking at this person like, it is no way that I could. I tried to be perfect for this person, but it was no way that I could have been perfect in this situation for this person because this person was a fucking manipulator. This person was a high priestess. This person was a conner. This person could conjure and, and work trickery and magic to make people believe and see whatever it is that they wanted them to see so they could hide who they truly was so this person can, can come and take guide a guide mentor a trustworthy ally i feel like someone came to taurus and like whisper in their ear y'all got like a message from somebody about this situation i want to say y'all got a message y'all got a message about this person and what this person does or what this person is up to and y'all had a trustworthy ally come to y'all and just be like, look, man, I'm glad that you got away from this person, that you divorced this person. Because you know this person did this shit to, like, their other ex. You know, like, the last time this person was with someone, they, like, emptied out this person's whole bank account. Like, this person came home and, like, all their money and everything was missing and everything like that. And I feel like this was an ally or this was someone, this, this information, this information came from someone that you'd never fucking thought. Like, I want to say like almost from a front, from an enemy or something like maybe like this, I want to say from like an ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend of this person's or somebody Something like that. Someone comes and tells y'all, like, listen, this person that did this shit before. You better check your bank account. Check your bank account. Like, did y'all, did this person have any of y'all, your bank information or anything like that? Did this person have access to this and this and this and that? You might want to change your keys, your house keys or whatever, because this person might, you know, listen. Because I thought... I, when I broke up with this motherfucker, I thought everything was said and done. It was months later. Shit, like, next thing I know, I came home, a whole bunch of shit in my house was missing. This motherfucker took all my jewelry, this, this, and that, because I didn't know this motherfucker had a copy of my keys, bitch. This, this, and that. Like, this is like the energy that I am getting. And then y'all going to find out someone stole something, and this, this person is going to go to jail. Because the six of pentacles go to the five of pentacles. And right above that is like a. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all reading just went totally different than the other one. <laughs> Good 
Because, like, my intuition is just telling me to dig. Like, it's just something about this. And y'all going to be so heartbroken about this. And you you going to be like, I can't even believe, like, I trusted this person. Like, I can't even believe, like. Oh, trustworthy ally. Oh, I feel like this won't be from the person that you would least expect it to be from to this person that you would be getting this information from. Please clarify this trustworthy ally. The Eight of Swords, the King of Cups, the Knight of Coins. Yes. 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 Okay. So the Eight of Swords. Um, Taurus. This was someone that, you know, you felt bound to, you felt in prison in this situation with this person. You felt in prison with this person. And I feel like you feel that this person is escaping prison. You feel like this person is escaping prison. You feel like this person is escaping prison. This is the King of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You feel like this man is... Um, this person knows how to control their emotions. This person knows how to hide and knows how to mask their emotions. So for this person to have like that high priestess energy where they can show you one face and deep inside be another person. I can see that because cancer men, um, that's that, that shell. You know what I'm saying? That they know how to wall people out. Um, and then Pisces men as well, they could be going upstream one day downstream another day same thing with scorpio men one day everything's good and they're being sweet and everything and in a few minutes they'll be ready to sting you and you don't know what the fuck you did you know so it's just like these people knew how to control and mask their emotions and hide certain elements of their self so that you weren't able to see and you were imprisoned by this situation with this person where you felt that you were trapped and you were burdened and you were tied down and you couldn't see this person for who they were. And now you're finally able to see someone just ripped that mask off for you. Someone gave you some information that made it so fucking mentally clear for you. Okay. You already escaped this imprisonment with this person because y'all already had that divorce. That's already been said and done. But I feel like you are still dealing with this three of swords heartbreak because it was a third party energy. But fuck that shit. This ain't even about this shit. This is about the fact that this person is a fucking con artist. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is a good lover. This person is very chivalrous. This person is very nurturing and attentive. When they're in their high vibration. But however, when they're in their low vibration, they can be a bitch to motherfucking deal with. Most definitely. Most definitely could be a bitch to deal with. And at the end of the day, if you don't know how to show me your emotions, you know, other than when you want to bitch or cry about shit, like what the fuck is that about? You know? And that that mask has been ripped off. Because now they see this person as the knight of coins in, in reverse. I definitely feel like some money has been stolen um, or like a bank account was empty or some jewelry taken or something because not only do you see this person of, yeah, this is a master of love. Most definitely, this person is a master of love, but they use that to their benefit. They use that to their goddamn benefit. And that's also... High priestess energy as well. That's somebody that has a high level of knowledge of, you know, like the highest of of most high counselor, you know, like a, a priestess, like, you know, a priest, a priestess, like they are the person that people worship or that they come to for 
teaching and, and you know so it's like this person could almost teach other people how to finesse and escape prison and to con people out of money and manipulate people and, and, and use your good looks and your charm and your chivalry and, and everything like that and like someone comes this this un <laughs> this person that you would least fucking expect it comes to you and just be like dog like you don't know like you think you think you do you think that you're the only person that this that got their heart broken in this situation so this might be the person that this might be the person that this person cheated on you with i don't know i just know that this is the the, the least the last fucking person that you expected to be sitting down talking to coming to you dropping the tea on you about this situation and i feel like both of y'all in, in cahoots with each other now because y'all like nah this motherfucker keep escaping jail and shit like that this motherfucker need to go to jail because i don't want this person to do this shit to nobody else because this person just fucked me and just fucked you over and like two enemies end up coming to jail i mean <laughs> <laughs> Two enemies end up coming together because it's like y'all see this person for who they are and y'all like this person can't keep doing this. This this person no. No. This could have been like this person's ex-wife and then once you became this person's wife like y'all you and the ex-wife Y'all didn't get along and shit like that. But now since you going through this divorce and stuff with this person. that you and the ex-wife is in cahoots and y'all cool now. And she like, bitch, this motherfucker did this shit to me too. Hmm. Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all let me know if this is resonating. Y'all let me know if this is resonating, y'all. This is crazy. Now let's get into love. Because I don't already use all my clarifying decks. Just try like <laughs> so. I guess I'm just gonna read the rest of this shit with Oracle decks. That's cool. Cause I don't, I don't, cause I'm just like hold up, hold up. What's T? What is T? Why they feel like somebody express your love? Okay. All right. So we going in a different direction in love. All right. We lightening things up. Express your love. Pay attention to the red flags. Attraction, healing family issues. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Spirit wants you to. All right, you're dealing with this shit, right? And what I want you to know is you can't be perfect in order for you to blossom and grow and to learn the things that you need to know. To grow in life, you're going to make mistakes. That's why this card says, allow me divine to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me from the prison of perfectionism. Okay? And you couldn't have foreseen this, this shit. I mean, I feel like people might have told you. I feel like there were whispers like people probably told you about this shit. But I don't think that you paid attention to the red flags. And that's why... It's telling you right here to pay attention to the red flags. But express your love. Express your love, but just be smart about the type of people that you're dealing with. And just know that you can't be perfect. Okay? You can't be perfect, but with everything that you've learned throughout this whole experience, apply that. Apply that because right now you are feeling fiery. You are feeling sexy. Like I told you, you are in this queen of wands energy. All right? And or that this is a Aries man that is dealing with a situation like this with a, a Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is very mystical and, you know, in her own right. So it's very much so that there could be an Aries man that is dealing with, you know, a woman that broke their heart that they felt like was not living within the standard traditions of y'all's relationship and it brought you a lot of unhappiness and that you feel like it was an unfair judgment because you had to end up paying this woman out a lot of money uh in the divorce settlement 
and you were better off by yourself. And you heartbreaking, you heartbroken because you see the type of person that these this girl carrying herself around with. You finally see this person for being a high priestess that she was. You know, this person is a master manipulator. All right. She's sneaky. She was hiding her true self. Now you have to take care of someone that you regret having to take care of. And you feel like this bitch need to go to damn jail for this type of evil ass got their wizardry pimping and shit. This type of bitch go. You feel like this shit should be motherfucking illegal for a bitch to be able to do some shit like that. Bitch, how the fuck you cheat on me and you motherfucker was hiding who the fuck you was and shit. And yeah, I done did some shit and everything. But goddamn bitch, like come on now. Now you feel locked out out in the cold. And now you got to take care of somebody that you ain't even with no more, you know? And you hearing whispers about the type of shit that this person has is, is, is been doing. And you're hearing whispers from people. From a trustworthy ally about what's been going on. Mm-hmm. And that's been helping you release this burden of, of, of feeling tied up with this person, you know? Because this person is... Now dealing with someone who is very shiverous and everything, but don't give, but don't give her no emotions. And this person is taking advantage of her pockets. And what your whole thing is right now, Taurus man, you're having to learn how to express your love again, but pay attention to the red flags and to know. You know, that you're very attractive and you're going to be attracting a lot of people, but pay attention to the people that you're attracting. You know, actually stop and smell the roses before you just decide that you want that one to be yours. All right. I feel like this is something that I feel like there's something going on in your family that you need to address. What the fuck is that? There's something going on in your family that you need to address. I feel like there's possibly something, you know, in regards to your father for for the Taurus men. I feel like there's something about your father and um, maybe his relationship with your mother or something like that. I feel like maybe he never really taught you how to be a man or taught you the correct way to do things or how to... Pay attention to the right type of women. I feel like this Taurus man feels like he's attracted to the wrong type of woman. He's attracted to women that this hierophant in reverse that um don't live traditional lifestyles like they like they're attracted to like loose women or something like that, you know? And I feel like maybe their father couldn't stay committed at home in the relationship in the marriage, like they the father was attracted to loose women. So I feel like you have to. You're very attractive right now. Your passions and everything. I mean your papa right now. But at the same time. Express your love. Pay attention to the red flags. You know. Stop and smell the roses. You have to learn from the things that happen in your in your past life with your family and stuff like that before you can attract the right one because this it could be the one is in the reverse I, I don't think you're going to attract the ones that could be the one until you really learn how to express your love to the right type of people and, and pay attention and attract the right type of people but you gotta heal and face some things that was going on in your past life with your family all right and I know this has been long, so I'm about to wrap this up real quick. Y'all let me know what the heck is going on with this up here, man. If I'm like, if I'm hitting something with that, man. I feel like, I really do feel like some women, or, yeah, it's women. It's some women. I feel like two women that used to be enemies came together. Because, like, there's this divorce that's going on right now. And this woman is just like, look. No, I'm with you. Like, this nigga need to go to fucking jail. This person did this shit to me. This is, this is what this person does. A fresh start in healing. Mm-hmm. God is offering you a fresh start in space for healing. 
shadow work. You got to dig deep and figure out what's going on. So this is what I got. This is what I got. God is offering you a fresh start, Taurus. God is offering you a fresh start. Oh, shit. Hold on, you guys. I didn't have to say hold on like 18 times in y'all video. I think it's about to die. God is offering you a fresh start. And right now is the time to get your chakras aligned and really go through the process that you need to go through for healing. You got to dig deep within your deepest, darkest part of your soul and find out what it is about you that you keep attracting these type of people that, you know, will take advantage of you like this. Because, you know, for some reason, I don't feel like that this is the first person in your life that you've attracted like this. You have to work harder to destroy whatever that is that is lurking deep within you that keeps attracting these tornadoes in your life. You have to destroy that foundation because for some reason that lesson isn't learned and you keep repeating the cycles. And it's like you having this battle with your pride and ego about, you know, releasing certain patterns, you know. Because it's, okay, this is about being a perfectionist, right? So I feel like you will attach yourself to something just so that things will look perfect to the, to, the, to, to the outside, you know, to the person on the outside. Like you'll rather just attach yourself to someone just to say you have a man or that you... Or that you're married. You ever been, you ever been around someone that just want to be married? You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's like, but you in a relationship with this person. This person's already a piece of shit. Like, what the fuck do you want to marry this person for? But yet this person just wants to be married like so fucking bad. Like it, like they they almost don't care. And it's like you have to like tear down whatever that is where you're not. Your pride and your ego is could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing because if someone's disrespecting you, your pride and your ego kicked in. They'd be like, hold on, someone is doing something wrong to me. You know, that's when your pride steps and be like, hold on, motherfucker. Hold up, motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? That's when that pride and that ego steps in. But then your pride and your ego could be a negative thing if you are being guided and your life is being controlled by your pride and your ego. You see? So it's like you have to kind of put your pride and ego aside sometimes and learn the lesson. And I know that it's not something that's easy. You know, it's not something that's easy, but sometimes in order for us to change our environment, we have to change ourselves. you know, and you have to move on. You have to move on. That's that heart chakra. OK, that love that helps you with that general well-being and that emotional calm. You have to move on to find that emotional calm and like balance that heart chakra. You don't have to be perfect. But as long as you have this fresh start and that you're growing. It don't matter how fast you grow. As long as you're growing and you're healing and you're getting your stuff balanced and you digging deep and you figuring out what it is that you need to do, that's all that matters. It might take a little bit of time tearing down those old foundations and shit, but at the end of the day, as long as the lesson is eventually learned, don't keep, listen, don't keep repeating the same chapters because your pride and ego don't want to, you know, let certain things go. And you got to understand you attract what you are. You know what I'm saying? If you raise your vibration and if you change your vibration, you won't attract these fucking idiots like this no more. You see what I'm saying? You have to move on from whoever it was that you were at that time when you were attracted those type of things. You understand what I'm saying? This is about new vitality. New vitality. This is in the reverse, okay? This is in the reverse. 
This is that crown chakra, okay? This is that understanding. Helping you to heal with personal losses and grief. Okay? So in order for that new vitality to kick in, you're already taking the steps and you're moving on, but you're not seeing that new birth. You're not seeing those colors of the rainbows that, you know, that spark of just new birth and you, you're just not seeing it. But it's because I don't think that you are going, you, you, you're you still dealing with heartbreak. Your heart is still broken. You know what I'm saying? You can't move on if you're still nursing a broken heart. You're still biting off pieces of this cake, holding on to memories and shit. You, you got to listen. You need to turn this up right, honey. You need to really blow the whistle. You need to blow the whistle. If you're going to move on, move on and bring in that new birth and that new vitality. What is it saying? Rebuild. You got to work harder to rebuild. You have to work harder to rebuild. And lead. Focus on yourself. That's number one. Focus on yourself. You can't be perfect, but you have to leave. You, you got to keep moving forward. You got to keep moving forward and you have to pay attention to the right flags. I mean, to the red flags to attract the right type of people in your life. You know, and it also one thing I want to say is if this person did steal something from you, if they did do something and if you feel like you need to go to talk to someone because you feel like this person is getting away with murder and they keep escaping jail and not only did they do this shit to you but they did this shit to someone else and y'all coming together to make sure that this person gets this jail time and the justice is served do what you need to do you know what i'm saying but after that i need you to move on i need you to move on i really really need you to move on because i want this new I want this newness to come to you. I want the blessings to like truly kick its door open and come to you. Let me get one of these rebel deck cards. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. Bitch. I would have died if that would have spilled. Okay. So this is the rebel deck. And this is the couple's edition one. So let's see, for people that are dealing with this relationship type of situation here, <laughs> let's see what it's saying. Spirit, please give me guidance for tours. It says you're fucking stressed. Massage, binge watch, chill. You're fucking stressed. So right now you need to just like really just try to relax and just chill. And just kind of let it in. Stop trying to be a perfectionist. Stop trying to feel like you got all the answers to everything. And stop trying to like really take justice into it. It says... You can't say thank you enough. I honestly feel like God, I feel like after this person talks to you, after this person talks to you and shares this information, you are literally going to be like, God, I can't say thank you enough. They deserve a medal for putting up with your ass. <laughs> they deserve a medal for putting up with your ass. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, this person that you're talking to, this guy that gets you to fully wake up and to check your accounts and to, 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 to make sure that all your shit is safe. I feel like you're like, oh, my God, you're saying thank you, God. You know what I'm saying? Like, thank you, God, that I walked away from this situation. I got out of this situation. And then you want to tell this person, like, you know, you telling them, like, you deserve a medal for putting up with their ass, you know? 
Cause they went through some shit that you would you definitely would not have tolerated that shit. You like, no, this motherfucker would have went to jail fucking around with me with some shit like this. No, this motherfucker would have got carted off. Yeah. Okay? So listen. Mm-mm-mm. It says you're on the same team. Play like it. All right? So whoever this uh, guide is, this guide is that's coming to you, this mentor, okay? A trustworthy ally, whoever this is, you're on the same team. So play like it. So if you guys are, I feel like you guys are like really, 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 because y'all are like, this motherfucker don't play. Y'all don't fucked around with the wrong people. You know, and I feel like this person that did this shit once, they didn't did it twice. Y'all gonna make sure that this person don't do it to nobody the fuck again. And y'all gonna make sure of it. Y'all gonna make the fuck sure of it. So ladies, okay, and gents, whoever this energy is for, y'all teaming up and y'all about to take down, teaming up for the takedown. All right? Teaming up for the takedown because you ain't playing around. I wish y'all luck. You know what I'm saying? And like they said, y'all are on the same team, so play like it. So don't let nobody, because at first y'all was enemies. You see what I'm saying? So don't start something together and then y'all fall apart, because then it'll all be for nothing. If y'all going to do it, y'all stick together, y'all play nice with each other, and y'all get the mission done. Y'all get the mission done so you can finally be happy, because something in my heart is telling me that Taurus is just not happy because they feel like there was... An injustice like you know what I'm saying there was an injustice like someone is not getting what they deserve they're getting away with murder and they keep getting away with murder and Taurus is not fucking having it they're not having it so I love you guys if this video resonates y'all please let me know if this resonates you know this this might not be for everybody this might not be for everybody, but the videos that I be thinking ain't for everybody. That be the one that everybody resonate with. So whatever, so whatever. I love you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Smooth. Cheers. Kisses all over your pretty face. Kisses all over your face. I love y'all. Love and like. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button, okay? And make sure that y'all chit-chat with me down in the comments. Y'all let me know what's going on in y'all situations. Y'all let me know what resonated, what didn't resonate. No, actually, don't tell me what this and don't do that. Because y'all be irritating me with that shit. That ain't me. I don't know who the fuck you talking about. Okay, if it didn't resonate, then the video's not for you. If the video's not for you, don't y'all y'all do not need to tell me that down there. Just unclick the button, unclick the video, and just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. Y'all let me know what resonated with you, if this resonated at all. And at the end of the day, the biggest key is... It's to allow yourself to make mistakes. That's the only way that you learn and you prosper and you get better in life, okay? I love you, Taurus. Love and light. Peace.